Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Ephemeral Tell is a game in early access that we have explored a couple of times over some large updates through the process of early access. There has been a rather significant update to the early access game that somehow slipped by me. I am really excited about this. They have now implemented a crossover with Shadows of Adam. It is a game I also have shown off on the channel. And if you saw my gameplay of that, you should be excited as well. They implemented the character Curtis, which was the one that was able to body slam the enemies, as well as a huge new level they have implemented in the style of ephemeral tell the board of magnum sanctum i believe is what it was or exactly what it was called in shadows of adam i'm very excited to see how they have implemented that into the game here and how that's going to work out and all the new features with this crossover the game is going to be releasing in a full version really soon so i'm as excited about that as well and can't wait to show the full game off so let's jump in here and see what the crossover has changed in the game one of the other things i think i'm going to do in this playthrough is to go maybe a little bit slower i don't know if i want to say slower but I'm much more of a just play it than completionist in that I have kind of not done certain things because they just is not the main line path here. And I think we've missed out on some of the features of the game. And I kind of want to try to get those features in. There's been areas that I have not seen yet, even not the new crossover area, but other areas as well, as well as some of the people, some of the companions I don't think we've did. We haven't done the shop as well, that we haven't really gone into that, so that's a whole nother thing. This is brand new as well. Being able to select what your character looks like is really cool, and I like that. And I would like to, actually, I kind of like the way this guy looks. I think we're going to choose him. I do like the original default as well, but I kind of like this hooded guy right here. So let's go ahead and choose him. Can I get done or? There we go. Is that done? There we go. Yeah, I'm sure. So our legend, 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 <laughs> now our legend will be written awake and see your fate we did do the little intro because i want to make sure that if you're just now getting into the game you know the whole story here that's kind of what i did that for there are a lot of items in this game this is a very item centric game and we'll be picking up a lot of items and probably shuffling through those said items a lot just to try to get the best items that we have but also to show you all the difference in items because there's so many ways to build your character in this game just based on the sheer number of items and differences in what those items can bring you though who has who treads upon the sacred ground I'm not doing very good at the reading today, it seems like. Yeah, I wonder as well. I love this little ghost thing that tells you, you know, maybe the story or the thing that he learned on his adventure but perished tells you a little hint about the game or a little technique about the game. It's kind of cool that it comes from these dead bodies because there's almost a story there like this guy figured that out but then died and now he's relaying that to you so we move the crystal and oh we touch the crystal and it empowers us 
we change that's right and then we have to move it over it has been about a year since i have played this so there's gonna take a little bit of remembering to get back into the the groove of the game here we go here's our first encounter with a couple of bats we do have a no we don't have any magic at all so let's go and just hit them i really like how the combat works in this game i love the design of the different characters there's just so much goodness here really should check out this game and we picked up our first few items we're gonna go ahead and look at that if i remember how to open that screen and that goes into the equipment so basically here it'll tell you the equipments that you can use for your weapon this will give you some little hint at the bottom maybe but i forget the exact way it goes but it's like white is the least strength green i think red blue purple something like that the colors change and it tells you how rare it is and thus how powerful it could be this will not really help us out if you look over onto the right you can see it takes a negative eight to our attack negative two to our defense really doesn't help us out there a lot so let's skip over that but we got this chain mail really doesn't help us either it increases our defense a little bit but not enough to drop our three in attack i believe leather gloves agility negative seven that's yeah i'm not really liking that either but everything else goes up in quite a bit actually yeah let's go ahead and put these on all right let's see how they get things have durability i don't know if i showed that off but like these basic items have infinite durability and this has a durability of 80 when i get hit some of that durability goes off so things break and we got to be careful thou who would seek the faded end speak your name we are hero <laughs> we should just name it hero yes we are hero my name is hero such is the name that wishes to change what's written guess hero could be a name i mean why not sure the equipment in ephemeral tell has a quality assigned to it the higher the quality the higher the stats on your equipment and then randomly assign some stats that is well we don't want to go items that's one thing that i always messed up when i was playing this game equipment is where you want to go to and that was a new armor what well it was an accessory that's right chain link necklace that makes everything go up oh do i not here we go do i not have oh we put, let's put those basic shoes on as well because those help us out as well i missed that completely but these things will break over time as you interact and hit enemies and get attacked make not the mistakes i made hero there's no shame in running from a fight that is lost hit the escape button to in combat to flee and that's kind of what i'm saying just it introduces little mechanics that help you out here that was a chain link necklace but we already have one level two so we really probably oh no that helps us out over the shoes yeah so let's go ahead and grab that we got two necklaces necklace eye on that's not really a word i know that i'm just being silly a lot of creatures around here yeah so what is his paid more attention to my gear i might not be here 
durability is vital so we do have to we didn't mention that i didn't mention that but we definitely have to be careful with our durability in that small repair kit that i just picked up allows me to increase that durability of an item actually i think it increases the durability of all the items if i remember correctly wow lowers your attack by 30 percent normal attacks hit twice so if i attack normal and hit twice i'm really doing like that'd be 70 percent 140 percent damage let's try that Let's see how that works. Oh, well, here we go. Let's try it out right now. 31, still, it's still taking us two hits or two attack actions to kill it. So it's about the same. So I'm not terribly upset about that yet. this way. I really don't remember this little tutorial area at all or what's here or what we can get ourselves into oh is this a mimic uh oh one thing that is kind of nice is that you oh I'm gonna die can I have an item here ocean I'm not sure this is gonna go well with us this intro world Oh, I can't escape this either. Uh, this is not going to go well. Although we get our first. What is it? Our first companion when we die. I guess if we die really quickly, we get our first companion really quickly. Yeah, we're not going to make it through this. This mimic is pretty tough. I can't. I don't have any magic. I did all my health. I can't escape. Yeah, it looks like we're going to die on this one. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't attack us because it's the tutorial area and it's saying we won't let you die in the tutorial area. Magic water and a fragile recall rune. That brings us back to magic water heals our mana and the fragile rune what does it do it um i think he takes you back out to the camp the power i saw it if only had attained it through other means I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean oh wow we got all kinds of stuff a scroll of power adds i think the abilities like you do get what's the word points in a level up system in a skill tree and i think the scroll of power increases gives you a level up there or a point in the skill tree to level up what did i just pick up i know i picked up something oh booties uh, low in defense there a lot lower a one i don't know seven to lock is not bad hmm i am going to hold on to what i have what else do we need to get in are these bad more bats oh no i love the slimies in this game the slomes are just hilarious they're so funny looking the character designs and the creature designs are just amazing in this game i really thoroughly enjoy the designs of those enemies a slime now that's something that's good at least will probably be better than my vest oh uh, yeah, it gives me a good magic defense and magic attack a little bit to my attack and defense Lowers my agility quite a bit, but that's what it does. It increases my health by 
20%, which is good. That's something I need, especially here in these early levels. As you go further, that's not as necessary, but definitely in the lower levels, you can die quite easily and it really doesn't hold your hand. The game does it and you will and can die very unexpectedly. So I recommend trying to grab some of that health things at the very beginning. There we go. I also like that the when you attack with a double attack like that, each attack has its own crit chance, which is kind of nice. As you saw in that last battle, one of those critted and you had a 30 and a 62 or 30 and a 31 and a 62, I believe. I think the purpose, the purpose of this area right now is just to grab all these little, find these little crystals and channel the essence and then you get to put them back in the main area. We are getting a little low on health and we do not have any more health. I really hope we find something well-worn cloak will probably not help us out. I don't think I have any. Hmm. No, really don't have anything that's going to make her how the only thing we could do is get a level up to level five and I'm not sure we're gonna make that far. I don't think this, yeah, that's not a way out. So we got that essence. We just gotta find some more essence here. I think in the batty, oh, I got my health. Was that something that was standard? I don't remember now. It's been a while since I played. If your health refilled, I think it naturally refilled with each step you took. But I'm not re really sure about that. We're at 164. Go in here a little bit. Now we're still at 164. I wonder if this intro area does it that way so that we can't die in this area. Because I was definitely really low there and should have probably died. Level five, but each level does. Ah, uh, my Swift Stroke broke. Each level, each level up does fill your health all the way up. So we need. Yeah, I think we're just gonna hold with the basic sword right here. The durability, yeah. All those have a durability, and they're going to break at some point. Don't worry about your things breaking because they will break and you're going to have plenty of items to replace them with. Harmless vest. Is that all? I thought I assumed that was going to be a little hint as well. Oh boy, he jumped me. That's not cool. Did not expect that. Oh, I also did not expect getting that one hit there. I forgot we had that. We lost that quick slash weapon. But yeah, we were doing more damage there. We were going in, well, 30s and 60s, which kind of evened out. Low hood and a pretty crimson bow. As you can see, the equipment does get quite, quite uh, built up. You get quite a lot of equipment over the time. Well, I would have to say, huh? 
and down to one to the low. I don't like that. But that moves our luck up plus five. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then there was something else we've, yeah. It also tells you what's new, which is also nice. I really do like that. So it tells you when you go in here, you can see that there's nothing new here. So until you move over an item to check it out, it lists the item as new. So that will help you find your new items quickly. Small repair kit, that's useful. Alchemist trick, what is that? That sounds like a item. Wow, definitely very agility, uh, evade. Wow, and a lot off of my health. Negates damage against the user instead of consuming a potion. Huh. That's interesting. I'm not sure I've seen that before. I would kind of like to see, not only have they added Curtis, but from my understanding, they've added other things that would be from the game, other items from Shadows of Adam. Or, you know, there's definitely Curtis and the other area, but I believe there's some other items that are themed to Shadows of Adam in the game. So I'm kind of curious to what those would be. What was we just picked up? Was that a, no. Walla boots. Just about balancing what you want to, what your priority here. What do you want to have that's higher? Do you want defense? Do you want attack? Do you want luck? All that does make a difference. And you just kind of, it's a balancing game a little bit. believe that takes us back to yeah back around to the area in which the beginning area get rid of these slimes and try to get back over there Ooh, we got more I was gonna say those are the boots, uh, walla boots, but walking boots. I do like that the equipment kind of, once you kill an enemy, it kind of shows that equipment there so you know that you're gonna get something. No ability. So it looks like it increases your attacks, your agility and some other stuff. I got a four or three percent evade. That's not very good. <laughs> evade. Open this door up, channeling the essence back into those crystals. Yeah, we opened the wrong gate. It looks like boulders are coming out after us. We just have to try to get out of here. Oh, we could rest. Can we rest by this fire? Oh, we can rest. So here's the skill tree, but next to the fire, we can add points. We have one crystal and we can add up, but we don't have any crystals yet. But we should be able to rest too, which allows us to refill our health.
and then this is the main overworld here and the um, oh this is new this whole area the castle walkway and the moat or water whatever there is that's all new ah you've arrived it would seem the time has come for another tale to unfold i wonder how you'll look back on this i am the keeper of this place you can think of me as a caretaker of sorts as such it is my duty to help you channel the power you will find throughout your adventures into something more tangible perhaps a demonstration is on order come i will show you i can help channel your power into something more tangible however once i've started i will be able to unhalt i will be unable to halt the process until it is complete now reflect upon the difficulties you've overcome thus far the enemies you've bested the wounds incurred so i get a skill gem from the power that i have saved up over time in beating the enemies those skill gems hold but a few of the countless secrets of this place deep within their crystalline structures should you come across a fire at with at with which to rest you may find them most useful hero the power that you'll find throughout your adventures will have more than one use there are others that may be able to use it in more untraditional ways interesting but beyond that there lies another purpose to it follow me if you would do i need to go up there okay there we go a stand of some sort place your hand on it yes oh it would seem you're far more clever th clever than you appear so this is the entrance of the first world this is all new this castle design is new which i really like this is really cool let's see if there's anything back up in here so i really like that 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 really cool and then i believe well if i can get back down through here the base or your resting area was just south of this but i wonder if that's redesigned any as well yeah the traveler's respite is kind of your base area here no this looks pretty much yeah i'd say this is pretty much what it was before this is the i believe this is the shop guy yeah he needs some crystallized essence essences and we need to find them and then if we give them to him he'll open his shop i don't remember what this chest here oh i got a stimulant i got all kinds of stuff here scepter of the worlds that's a magic item which is really nice magic damage by 20 percent and lowers the cost by 20 percent that's really powerful heals 20 health on critical kills that's that's nice as well but again everything has a durability Let's see what else i picked up there does not look like it's maybe some items i know we picked up a stimulant oh we falls a fallen comrade that's going to be helpful and then we got five skill gems that we could use on the skill tree down here so if we wanted to and we do want to we could move our stat up increase 
And then this, we need two crystals now to do this one. So we want to obtain a flask, and that's a reusable healing flask. Very useful. And then another stat up. Let's do that. And we do not have enough to do it all. So we'll just have to wait until we get some more. The way I've played this in the other times is that I've been much, much more a fighter kind of character where I would go in and with sword, make sure my attack was up because most of the other companions that you could pick up were magic users. So I might, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes and see what companions I pick up. Then here we'll open up our first worlds. Oh, he's here. Three ancients hold the power needed to carve your path. You'll need to seek them out and obtain their blessing. Basically, you need to defeat them and they submit. And give you their blessing. The Forgotten Forest. The Occluded Oasis. The Corrupted Castle. The forest has been the easiest so far that I have gone through. I'm going to start there, the Forgotten Forest. And see what we can do. It is said that the Forgotten Forest once held a secret, a library of great knowledge. Many have sought it out, but none have found it. Perhaps it doesn't exist at all. This world is filled with deceit. The way forward is now open. When you've gathered the power needed, you can find me at the camp to the south. Be careful, hero. As you grow in strength, so will the corruption that rules your foes. I think that is a great place to stop. We'll get into the Forgotten Ford in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.